Hello, welcome to the cold start video of the 1976 Triumph Stag. Uh, the vehicle hasn't been started today, so we're ready to rock and roll. If you can start the engine, please. Okay. Hello and welcome to the on the road video of the 1976 Triumph Stag. We're on a nice sort of country main roads today so we'll have plenty of opportunity to get up through the gears. Uh, apologies for any wind noise, we have got the roof off. So very quickly, I'm just pointing out the dash here and we've got, we can see we're charging the battery, there's no lights on, the uh, warnings, 45 mile an hour, the revs are up and everything seems to work as they should. We've got about half, fuel, half a tank of fuel. Uh, yeah, two thirds actually. Nice. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so, um, so everything looks like it's working as it should. Um, and we're just we're in fourth gear now. Uh, yeah, we are. We're, we're in fourth, fourth gear. gear. Now. We can. And uh, we have got chase the third. Third. Four. Brilliant. And it's got the overdrive, and that works. It has. We'll do it in a minute. Overdrive, when we get our speed up. Overdriving now would be a bit ridiculous, so we won't do it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and just, and whilst we were changing gear there, how did the how does the clutch feel on the car? Yeah, it's fantastic because I replaced when I converted it to a manual. It's only done about five thousand miles since, and I put a uh, AP clutch in it. You know, yeah. Obviously, brand new slave cylinder, brand new master cylinder because it didn't have one. Yep. So it all works so, as it should, nice and predictable. Yeah, it's all exactly original, so uh, you know, I made sure every bolt was how it should be, really. Awesome, and as we're going along now, so we're 40, 45 mile an hour. Yeah, we are. And how does the steering feel? Yeah, fine. Yeah. Hence, well, it's got a new rack, actually, so that was another issue, and a new steering column. Brilliant, um, so... When so I say new, it was the one that was stolen from the factory by the guy of a friend of a guy yeah. back in 76, so I yeah. bought it off him and fitted that, so... That's it's all great. new, really. Yeah, so there's no wobble, there's no shake, no. there's no pull, anything like that, which is good it's to... It's got a tyre wobble about 75. We're not yep. going to do that today, but nope. it does need the front wheels balancing. I just thought I'd make the point. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. And as we come so in... We will get off this road in a minute. And, I mean, overdrive yep. is... That's fourth overdrive. And there, that, you heard it drop. Yep, that's great, yeah. We'll get back out again. Yes, yeah, so that dropped down to 2,000 yeah. RPM yeah. at 50 mile an hour, yeah, which... Yeah, we'll we'll left, shall yeah. we? Ready? And it's seamless, kicks in straight away. That's yeah, brilliant. had the overdrive rebuilt by Overdrive Rebuilds in rugby. So super. Had the gearbox rebuilt by EJ Ward. Before right. I put it all in, I thought I'm not very good at gearboxes, so yeah. I uh, got it too done many circle clips. That's yes. the problem. <laughs> too many things to go wrong, isn't it? There yeah, are, yeah there are things that go. Yeah, really. Yeah. You should so, know your strengths, shouldn't you? Really. Yeah. It's warming up now. It's just come off cold. Yeah. So. Uh, Typically won't thrash it yet because the oil's still cold, but yep. uh, and it runs old 2050 oil, so it doesn't get right. warm very easy. Yeah. Super. I guess really the sort of the, I'm listening to the suspension. It's not the smoothest road in the world. And I'm listening to the suspension. I, I haven't heard any knocks or bangs. And also, like, which is quite strange on classic cars, I'm not getting any rattles or shakes or vibrations from the dashboard either. No. I don't like rattles and shakes and vibrations. Yeah. And I've. You know, it's mostly, like I say, if it rattled or shook, it got replaced, it was unfortunate, but most of it's in the roof of my garage, the rattly, yeah. shaky stuff. That's On it. a windy day, the garage sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So we'll um, we're going to be going left in a minute now. Okay. Though, different road, so this is a super. It's got a new clock, by the way. We were looking at the dashboard earlier. That's yep. a replica quartz clock with a because the other one, the Kienzel one that was in, was a real pain in the bum. Um, it never worked, so I got a replica Kienzel quartz one that you know has got a yeah fits a little adjuster under the dashboard for it. And a, a replica that works is better than a, a genuine one that doesn't. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've got the original somewhere in a box. Again, same story. There's not much yep. point. It makes a ticking noise. It doesn't go forward, so it's right twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're, so. Whilst whilst we're breaking here. Um, well, we are. I nearly forgot to break then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, <laughs> do you get any pull on the car at all? Or no, well, any no, by motion? No, because it's got two new front calipers, two new rear slave cylinders. This was all done about 500 miles ago. Yeah. A new PWA valve. Yeah. PWA, PWSA. Is that the people's dispensary for sick animals? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's got a P and a D in it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and a new brake servo and a new master cylinder. Right. That was uh, it, really. I so, mean, I got so fed up with the brakes because they kept binding. Right. In the end, I replaced the entire thing, and then um, so now it's perfect. Awesome. Oh, and new discs, and new bearings. So definitely no problems and there. New flexible hoses. No. <laughs> Why is he going our way? I was going to say it's like he knows the way you want to go. Yeah, yep. it's my car. I know that, but um, it, you know, it's it, it's. Uh, sorry, we'll go this way. Uh, and it, it revs happily. It yeah. went up straight to the speed limit there, no problems whatsoever. No, it has no. Uh, the carbs have been rebuilt about I don't know a couple of thousand miles ago. Um, they've been rebuilt twice, but I did them again because I bought a really big ultrasonic bath on eBay, and I needed something to test it with. So yeah, I took them all apart yet again. Awesome. So they've had all new Stromberg bits in them. And yeah, and it's got a great sound to it, and I've noticed that it has got a very clean exhaust. It's a stainless steel on it. Yeah. So it's got a stainless steel exhaust, which gives it that that really nice sort of soundtrack as well. It does. It pops on the overrun a bit as yeah. well. So awesome. I'm supposed to, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're That's just going great. over these speed bumps, and then we'll be able to get through this village. Yeah. Yeah, because you get you get the sort of the. Reflection on the noise whilst you're coming through the buildings, which yeah, yeah. is really, really nice. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just doing yeah. that. Right, we'll stop showing off now. Did you notice the green ignition leads when you will do on the photos? Yes. I um. They took a bit of sourcing because the original cars had green ignition leads. All right. But the no door mirror, which is of course totally original, that's fine at the moment with the roof off. But uh, somebody wants to put one on, feel free. But no, we'll be out in a minute. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll go through the ropes a bit. Oh, yeah. Second. Of the... That's five and a half. Pops on over yeah, it's quite yeah. entertaining. I think there's a joint in the centre of the exhaust that's leaking air, right. right? But you know, why would I change it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's two minutes of a it's, job. It sounds amazing, yeah. No, it does sound amazing. And everybody treats these things as fragile, you know. People who own stags always drive them around like, oh, it'll all break. It, you know, generally, yeah. if you use it, you're okay. And uh, this one's been, you know, the engine was light and balanced when it was rebuilt yeah. in 1999 as well. So it's uh, particularly nice, I think. Okay, that's great. Well, we're going we're, back. To... We've definitely put it through its motion, so yeah, hopefully we'll... everybody watching the video will now know 100% whether this is the car for them or not. Yeah. So thank you for bringing me out today. That's